two. All right, we're gonna open one up in this video. Uh, heads, heads were single strike, and then tails were rapid strike because rapid strike's not been treating me well. Oh shit! Heads, baby. Well, well let's try to. Never mind. <laughs> Yep, there you go. Now it's official. Two heads, two heads. Head. We'll open this one up next week. But for now, we're going to open up this red one, the single strike battle styles. I think I talked about this last last video last week, technically for y'all's y'all's timeline, or maybe last week. I don't know. Next. My Shining Fates Elite Trainer Box video. There you go. I talked about how I hated the, uh, how they're doing, like, it's basically, like, the Pokemon games, but in, in card form. Oh, there's two versions. There's, uh, the, uh, the, the Single Strike Battle Style Box, and then there's the, uh, the Single Strike Style Battle Box. There's a cardboard poster. Fun fact, you can unpeel it and then you get some cardboard. Wow, very cool. Yeah. What else do I need in bow styles? This, this is probably the last few bits that I need from battle styles. Um, or at least the last, last products I'm going to open from battle styles. If it isn't just in random boxes. Uh, Cheryl would be nice. Then the alternative arts I got recently, I got the single strike Urshifu from just a random pack I found at Target. It was like sitting there. I think a little child had to either choose Legos or Pokemon cards. He he chose the wrong choice. He left he he left the rainbow box. I would like these um, alternative arts of Tarantar and um, not Clover Knight. Where is it? There you go. Penguin and Polion. That'd be cool. Open it up. What's inside? Pokemon TCG roll flat. Got the acrylic stands. We got some red dice. Very cool. And then cardboard trash. Let's see. No promo card. We just get eight battle style packs. Yep. Very cool. And then Matt. Play sleeves, very cool, very neat. Put those to the side. Got the brick of energy. Yep. Ooh, fire. If I, I if I open up that single strike one, it better be water. I swear to God. Put that up there. Okay, let's start opening them up. Get eight packs. I'm used to those premium boxes where they get the ten. In the promo card but i know that if regular elite trainer boxes started doing that it'd start being expensive is it like this yeah go one two three get rid of the fire energy yet again burning he we burning i'm so glad that's a shield burt and swords shield sword word and shield burt didn't get a full art that'd be That'd be a bro moment if they did. Look at this Yamper art though. Ooh, look at my boy. He's so cute. Ooh. And f uh, well, not technically four. V Max Corviknight to go along with our uh, Rainbow Corviknight. Dang. Okay. Okay, I see you. Just put it in there for now. Yeah. Well, oh, speaking of Pokemon cards at Target, went back to Target, and Pokemon cards are slowly healing, um, or at least that Target right there. Uh, they finally got their backstock, their their um, the ten million dollar backstock pre-order, and it finally came in. Uh, but other than that, they're probably gonna stop doing it. Because all the rest of targets in my area all have the same message saying, "Oh, there's no more Pokemon cards because people start fighting." It's just a bro moment. Like, it's just cardboard, bro. And y'all are in this 
in this uh, community of investments and buying and flipping, the scalping community. Imagine, imagine it's the scalping community. Oh my god. Anyway, I'm just saying that if you're opening Pokemon cards up just for money value, bro, you got you ain't thinking, you ain't thinking straight. The if I can open it up, the appeal to the Pokemon cards are the Pokemon and the not necessarily the the gambling aspect. <laughs> Child's gambling Pokemon cards or um, getting into it because I was thinking about it. It's like it's Pokemon cards are just basically a physical version of gotchas, and it's just <laughs> physical JPEGs. Oh my god, maybe that's why I like gotcha games and Pokemon cards. Man, it's not. Ooh, this one's this one's seen better days. It's like bent right here. What the fuck? Watch this be like the the holy grail of battle styles. The uh, ultimate hit. I don't even know what the ultimate hit is. Battle styles. It used to be um, it used to be uh, Tyrantar and Polion for a little while there. But I know that uh, single striker she feels pretty uh playable. It don't look like the card's been hit though. Good. One, two, three. Get a water. Throw the water energy out. Cheryl. Yeah, again. Kensugi Mori art. Get a Spiro. We get a Zubat that's crocheted. We get a Cubone. Look it up in the sky. Uh, Frillish kind of just staring. We got a reverse Angel Slash. I think we got two uh, Angel Slashes in here. And then we got Rock. Stonehenge looking Pokemon. I can't believe that's an actual Pokemon. Mmm, stones. Put that over there. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the new set is going to look like. I plan to go into it blind. Or at least as blind as possible. I know that we got the, like, the new... Uh, horse, horse riding, little Pokemon, whatever. But I'm gonna see, I'm gonna see whatever, whatever I get is whatever I get is gonna be new. Uh, like that, this Tarantar V. I don't normally jump into. Ooh, I don't normally see jump into a set that I don't know what the card, card list looks like. But I'm probably. But on Mikari, people have been able to get these elite trainer boxes out for like one to two weeks early. I was like, how do you, how are y'all people, how'd y'all do that? <laughs> one, two, three. And so I found somebody who was able to, I was willing to sell it for like both, both of them for like 130 before sales tax and shipping. And I was like, ooh. And I jumped on it. Not necessarily Bell Sprout to Victory Bell. Uh, it wasn't necessarily. It was, it was alright, or at least IMO. It was alright to me. Because I don't want to buy, like. Because I know that next set, that next EV set that's coming out in English. Ooh, man. That's going to be expensive! All I know that is um i think the legendary birds are gonna be in that set i think i think if max if if they combine matchless fighters with the uh, that um that deer deer set then probably be the birds it looks like even on the art it looks like the birds um so that'd be really cool i haven't seen the i haven't even seen the japanese card list set so we'll just have to see it probably I'll probably get it out as soon as possible when I get the Elite Trainer boxes. Um, so, if they happen to show up this week uh, of me recording, then, well, oop. 
You're all, you'll probably just have to wait for that battle style, the rapid strike battle styles. Because I want that immediately. Oh. My nephew's awake. Wait, Jack. We got the last pack. Level ball, weeping. But can I, like, get cards normally, please? Thank you. Ponyard. We got a hound door. We got a <laughs> reverse hound door. And Epoleon. Regular Epoleon V. Very cool. Neat. I don't think we even got much. We got three. We got three babies. Let's go. I almost forgot the pink collection. Let's open this chest up, baby. This a, oh, that's the cool card. Gonna steal that, and I'm gonna take this one. Then lock up this chest for next week. All right, BB, what's in here? Eh. Bro, these Pokemon packs, dude. Open up. Make a one-hour compilation video of me struggling to open these packs. That trash. One, two, three. It'd be insane if Charizard was in one of these, like... Mad and mad party collection boxes. I'd be like, bro, coughing shinx. We got a grookey, we got a trap pinch, we got a yanma, we got a woo, got a shiny grookey. Very nice, very cool. Look at him, he's like a lighter color, I think. And we got a hollow decidueye. Very cool. I think we were like two to two for that pin collection box. Nice. All right, anyway, rapid strike. Now you're next.